In this video, I will show you how to turn boring icons into crazy animated icons. I sometimes see these animations with really boring icons and then I'm thinking it's so easy to make them look cooler. And that's what I'm gonna show. But before I begin, if you want to become a better editor, then do join the Social Creative Club Pro. It's an editing community that includes deep dives and modules, basically like a course on editing. You will learn how to get clients. I will give clients to you. And of course you will learn advanced editing techniques, including 3D Blender. Again, link is in the description. Now let's jump into it. First, I'm gonna look for an icon and ideally you have a solid icon. I'm here on flat icon. And for example, I'm gonna search brain. I have this cool icon. And then we can just download a PNG. I'm gonna do it high res, so 512 pixels is totally fine. And then we're gonna go to After Effects. I'm gonna create a new composition, 4K, 25 frames per second, and we're just gonna press OK. Now I am gonna go into my composition, composition settings, and then I will change the duration. I think this is way too long, so let's set this to zero, and then maybe zero, five. So it's like five seconds, that's fine, perfect. Now I imported my PNG. You can just drag this in or press Command I to import it. Or you can also double click here. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna just drag this in. You won't be able to see it since this is on a dark background. But if you toggle the transparency grid, you will see it. Perfect. Now that you know the icon is there, I'm just gonna toggle the transparency grid again. So it's just back to black. And then we go to layer auto trace and then I'm gonna use these settings first of all I'm gonna use the current frame then the channel I'm gonna set to alpha and then as you can see these mask will appear that's great now these settings are different for everyone and like for example if we increase the tolerance and click on the background it will make them a bit more smooth this is for the people that have a smooth brain but we can also set this to two for example that's a bit in between or we can even dial this down to comma three click on the background again, and this will make it really, really detailed. Now again, I'm gonna set the tolerance to maybe 1.5, so it's a bit more smooth. Maybe that's a bit more too smooth. Let's put it on one pixel. I think that's actually fine. Maybe I'm gonna set it to one minimum area. I changed to maybe 200. Again, you might have to just play around with these values a bit. Press OK, and then we can always adjust the mask later. But this looks actually really good. And now we can just go to the PNG. Let's delete that by pressing backspace and it's gone. And now I'm gonna add a stroke effect to this. So just generate stroke. I'm gonna use all masks and strokes sequentially. I'm gonna turn off. You can actually play around with this setting. I will show you a bit later on what this does. Now I'm gonna change the paint style to untransparent and I'm gonna increase the brush size a bit so we can just see what's happening here. As you can see, it created a beautiful stroke. And now we can animate this by just clicking on the end keyframe, press U to see our keyframes. Let's drag this out, for example, to one second. And then let's set this to zero. And if we now click in this gray area and let's just quickly go through it, as you can see, we'll have this really cool animation. Now, if I do stroke sequentially, it will do the first half of the brain first because these are two separate masks. And that is actually also a really cool effect. Now, what I don't like is that this starting point is not moving. So we're gonna change that. Let's change this first keyframe of the end to 50% and let's keyframe the start to, and let's set that to 50% too. Now I'm gonna click on this arrow icon so it goes to this next keyframe and then let's set the start to zero. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these a tiny bit so there's just a bit of spacing and you can play around with this. Make sure the stroke sequentially is off and this will basically make this animation way cooler in my opinion. Now of course we can select these keyframes and we can easy ease them by right clicking keyframe assistant and then easy ease. Or of course hitting F9 on your keyboard, use keyboard shortcuts. Now I'm gonna add a force motion blur on this. This will basically add some motion blur to this. And then we can add a glow to this and you can use a deep glow or you can use a normal glow. Just make sure that if you use a normal glow that we're gonna change the settings a bit. So for example, I like the radius when it's a bit higher. I like when the glow intensity is a bit lower. But before we continue, what you might see is that your icon is cut off. This depends a bit on the icon. But if you do have this issue, you might need to add a CC reptile to this. Set the tiling to none, then move this to the top and then just expand it down a bit. 
and on all the sides that's needed. Sometimes literally just 50, 50, 50, 50 should be enough. Now I'm gonna add some noise to this glow and the simple way to do this is to just duplicate this layer, turn the glow off of the top layer, then going to the bottom layer and adding a noise HLS to this. Then I'm gonna increase the lightness by a lot. And as you can see, this will increase the noise of this. I'm gonna use grain and then turn the grain size down and then maybe the lightness set to 70%, that should be enough. And as you can see, this gives this really cool texture to this layer. Now, of course, we can even change the color of this, and we can do that by changing the stroke color to, for example, a darker green. Let's copy this hex code, press OK. Going to the other one, I'm gonna do the same here. Press OK. And this looks so cool, right? And then you get something like this and you can do this with any icon. It's such an easy effect. So I don't want to see those basic PNGs anymore. Do let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I'm still replying to every YouTube comment, so I will see it. If you want to learn even more advanced editing techniques and also learn how to monetize this, start earning two to 5K a month with editing, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. The link is in the description. Then don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you next time. Bye.